I think there should be more vegetarian options out there and this one is a standout. I'm going to make some eggplant chips and serve it with lashings of hummus. All right, for our eggplant chips, we need to get some oil on. So I'm going to just turn the pan on a medium to high heat and I'll just cover the base of the pan with some oil. You could use some olive oil if you like or vegetable oil. And this is for shallow frying. So we'll just warm that up while we prepare our eggplant. Now, this is a gorgeous eggplant. You want to use a, quite a fresh eggplant. You know that it's great because it's not too spongy, it's firm, and you can see that nice thick skin. So we'll just take the top off. And you can cut this into any shape you like, but I want these to be as thin as possible for this style of dish because I want to scatter it all over that gorgeous creamy hummus. So nice thin slices. Okay, really sharp knife and just take your time doing this. Now, there's two schools of thoughts when it comes to eggplant. Some believe that you should salt the eggplant first and let it sit and then pat it dry. Some don't. I kind of sit in the middle depending on the type of eggplant. See how there's very little seeds throughout this eggplant? When there's no seeds in it like this, I don't tend to salt it. I go straight into frying. So that's what I'll be doing today. If you want to salt and add that extra stage to cooking, by all means, you can do that. And particularly when I'm cutting these super, super thin and frying them in hot oil, they don't tend to be bitter whatsoever. All right, we'll start with this batch because I don't want this eggplant to go brown and then we can cut some more and fry. Now, this is not plain flour, this is rice flour. And I love to use rice flour because it does give us a slight crispier finish on our chippies. So in with our eggplant and because they do give off a little bit of water, that rice flour will stick nicely. So just coat them in the rice flour and I'm not salting now, I'm going to salt them afterwards. Now once that oil is hot, we'll shake the excess flour off and then carefully lower them in. Got a good sizzle there and we're going to fry these until they're golden on both sides. Once they come out of the oil, onto some paper towel and a light sprinkling of salt. ready to go and you can see the thinner it is, the crispier it's going to be. So that's why you kind of want it to be thin. If it's not, it's still so delicious because eggplant's one of those versatile vegetables, whether it's crisp or soft, super yummy. Okay, now it's time to make a quick dressing. So I'm going to really show off pomegranate in this recipe. I like the tangy sweetness to it. So pomegranate molasses, you can get at all Middle Eastern shops. You can also get it at supermarkets now, which is fantastic because it's a great condiment for dressings just like this. For some acidity, some red wine vinegar, a pinch of salt and pepper and just give that a little mix and just keep mixing as we start to emulsify this slightly with some extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Have a little taste. Mmm. Love those flavours. It should really be zingy because as you mix it with everything else, it'll really stand out. That's what we're after. Okay, now for the fun part, which is building the layers of this salad or platter, however you want to call it. Some hummus. I'm using this one. I love how creamy it is. I also love that they use Australian chickpeas. So it's a local dip. Delicious as is, but also fantastic base to a dish like this. So you'll need about 200 grams, so one whole tub, and just place it straight in the centre of your plate and just spread it out. This is not a perfect dish. It actually looks better when it's a little bit rustic, so just smear that around, have a bit of fun with it, have a little taste too. Mm, love that. And now for our eggplant chippies, we're going to pile them on top of the hummus, spread them out. Great. And a little of the dressing. Drizzle that over the top. Just let that hit that hummus too. Some parsley. So don't worry about chopping the parsley. I kind of want it to act like a, a lettuce leaf. So big chunks of it. This calls for a pop of colour, 
So I found myself a pomegranate, fresh pomegranate. We want the little seeds inside. So the best way to attack a fresh pomegranate is to cut it down the centre, grab a bowl and a wooden spoon. And to ensure that it doesn't go everywhere, just place the half pomegranate into a bowl and just tap it with a wooden spoon. And by doing that, you're releasing all these little gems. And by doing this with a wooden spoon, you can see that we're getting all those little seeds out, but all that membrane stays in there. So it's just the easiest way to prepare a pomegranate. Okay, pop that to one side. And just with a spoon, I'll grab these pomegranates and just dress them with a little more of this dressing. One last stir. And then just sprinkle them over the top. Just little piles of them everywhere, little bundles. Let them cascade down. How pretty is this dish? It really is a fantastic side, or it's delicious as is, served with some pita bread, or I love Lebanese bread.